Hello, this is Alpine Comics, coming with you with another comic video. Uh, these are books that I all got for basically a quarter or a dollar, but most of them were a quarter. And uh, what I got here is a vertical, a lot of them are vertical. And I collect the different vertical series, and I'm not talking about Sandman, um, Swamp Thing, Hellblazer, those are the superhero um, things. I'm talking about Vertical when it came out in the 90s. was basically DC's way to get female collectors to collect comics. Because I, I would see these good looking girls and I would talk to them. And they say, yeah, I like Batman or I like Wolverine. But they were buying the Vertical titles. Titles like American Freaks. Seekers, Proposition Player, Nevada, Sarah, Fault Lines, Industrial Golf, Mob Fire. I mean, there's Vamps was a pop, good one with Buller Covers. So these books were used by DC to attract the female market. They didn't give a shit about you guys. The market to get in the 90s was the female collector. And they like storylines, not so much art. The vertical art is all this kind of basically the same. They were story driven. And uh, I go into stores and I, you know, you see the, the big time vertical titles like Sandman and Swamp Things. But these mini series, you got to look for. A lot of these comic dealers, I don't think want to deal with these because they don't think people are into them. But they are for the female collector. You know, Patton once said, your job is not to die for your country, it's to kill the other dumb bastard who wants to die for his country. Well, my job as a comic collector is sometimes to not buy shit I like, but buy the shit the other guy wants and he's willing to pay a premium for. <laughs> so um, this is definitely a different market. Uh, not so much guys. But the female, a lot of female collectors are into vertical. Okay, now this is a big vertical title. It's six issues, and it's a uh, faker. And I didn't realize this when I bought it, but this was done in 2007, and it was done by Jock, J-O-C. And I have issue two, I have issue three, and I have issue four. And he did both. The art and the covers. And this is 2007. So this far is far in advance of his Batman stuff. And I didn't realize it even when I bought it. And I look at it and say, wait a minute, Jock? So this is another book done by Jock. And it's a vertical. And it's called Faker. And it's a six-issue miniseries. I have three of them. And I'm actually looking for the rest of them. The next one is a 25 cent. This is my 2017 25 cent book of the year. Extremist One. Didn't know this book existed. I knew about it. I showed this before. Witchcraft. One. Hmm. Platinum. Yes. This is Extremist One. This is the Platinum Edition. It's very fine. It was in a quarter box. I saw it. I saw the Platinum strip and I'm like... You gotta be freaking kidding me. This in a quarter box? Uh, from my experience, some of these platinums like Witchcraft, Books of Magic, uh, Black Orchard, they all had ones that were platinum editions. And I've had a hunt for these. Didn't know this even existed. Um, I'm gonna try to get the rest of the regular issues, but uh, was really surprised to see this in a quarter box and... Uh, it wasn't staying there. I think it's a great find. And uh, like I said, some of these Platinums by the Vertical line, because Vertical did Platinum editions, are a little hard to find. Find, And I was very happy to get it. Then we're going to start going through them first. I got uh, Vertical, uh, Ghost Dancing. That's a six-issue miniseries. I have two. I have three. I have four, and I have five. 
So this is by uh, Jamie Delano. Um, another one, I try to finish this up. Uh, seen this in a quarter box. It's very fine, but this is Invisibles 20. has a Brian Bolin cover. So uh, I like Bolin's cover art. And uh, it presents pretty nice, so it was a no-brainer for 25 cents. So I got another issue in the Invisibles run. Next is a six-issue miniseries. And I got Proposition Player 1. And I have Proposition Player 3. And I have a couple other ones. I've almost got this whole miniseries. Uh, very colorful artwork on some of these covers. Um, next, i seen some Kid Eternity. And these are all quarter books. Uh, very colorful. Um... That's issue two. That's issue three. That's issue four. And this is issue five. It's only like a, what, a 16-issue miniseries? I mean, series. How many issues? About 16 issues. And uh, I'm trying to complete it. Yeah, about 16 issues. They also had a direct market... Uh, Three issues, um, you know, thick books. Next one, I got Art Law Nation. Now, these covers are done by Glenn Fabry. F-A-B-R-Y. I know he's done a lot of magazine and um, trade paperback, I mean, covers, especially magazines. And uh, this is Art Law Nation Vertical. That's two. I really like issue three. I like the cover. Um, it has a Jonah Hex feel. And uh, it's done by, these are done by Glenn Farbray. And um, it's this series is only 19 issues. So I saw these and I said, sure, why not? I like that cover. Actually, I got two of those. And I got issue four. Issue five. And I got the last issue. They had the last issue. Uh, issue 9. 19. That's the last issue. So I was always happy to get the last issue for a quarter. You can't beat it. All right. Continuing on. Uh, Books of Magic 17 from the regular series. And I have, I have it. But for 25 cents, I said, sure, why not? Um, it's a great storyline. I have the whole series. And then I was able to get these two, Names of Magic. And this is a five-issue miniseries. So I got the first two issues of this for a quarter uh, to continue on my magic run uh, after the books of magic. And then I got a couple Sandman issues. Uh, no, not that Sandman. But I got Sandman Mystery Theater 2, Sandman Mystery Theater 3, I like that cover, and Sandman Mystery Theater 10. Uh, I don't have many issues in this series. I would like to, uh, I'd like to get this vertical run. Uh, it's like 70 issues. So, um, you know, got a couple of the early ones I'm happy. Uh, next, I got, this isn't vertical. But this is a really thick book. This is DC 